so i think lab 32 is a fantastically designed program uh, the reason being that you know it doesn't look at startups from just one perspective it helps them in a in a truly holistic fashion uh, the best part is that when uh, you know a startup becomes a part of this program they don't just get one mentor but they probably get multiple mentors that help them not just from business plans and you know uh, pitches point of view but also help them from branding and how to position themselves and how to create a a, a deck for their uh, product or service so uh, it's it's in short combining the best of both worlds is what i would say uh, i think scaling up is one of the most difficult uh, parts of running a business for sure uh because we are running a business for a while and you know we kind of put our process and business ideas together and uh, we we begin to see traction but when that traction hits a it's a stillness and we don't see uh, you know a lot of growth happening uh that is when you know it's important for us to to uh, take a leap and uh, try and uh, focus on scaling up however uh, scaling up because it's difficult it also needs a lot of uh, you know uh, thought process i mean it needs a lot of ideas that that the startups have to look towards scaling up can be either they just diversify into various other uh, complementary services or product categories that they have or they just look at scaling in terms of va- uh, volumes so you know uh, these are the two broad ways of scaling up but then obviously you can also look at a combination of two so there are a lot of ways of doing this and you know having a mentor who who has gone through the process and who's built something like that uh, who complements uh, your ideology uh, will obviously help you in scaling up in the best possible way three key things that i feel uh, not just for scaling up but also for running your uh, particular startup is a the ability to listen most of the times you're busy speaking and uh, you know as per data we talk a lot we talk a lot more than required and uh, you know today because of these video calls and because of the pandemic and because of the situation we are talking so much more than what we usually would we almost talk as much as lawyers and they are the highest speaking uh, people so we need to take a pause to listen to customers listen to feedback listen to uh, employees we don't need to listen to everybody but uh, we need to listen to the key people who are uh, you know connected to your startup and then there is uh, once we listen to these people then we can go into a zone where we analyze to see what makes sense and what doesn't and you know try out different things but if you're not listening then i think we are delaying uh, we're terribly delaying the process of scaling up for our uh, businesses or startups so listening is one the second is i think uh, something which which has been reiterated during this pandemic is adaptability so a lot of times we start with a project we start with a product we start with a service but we over the pe- over a period of time begin to realize that uh, you know the market is evolving which it always is and uh, when the market evolves we have to evolve accordingly in in the same pace or better pace we have to be in complete sync with the market if we don't do that uh, we are just opening doors to you know perish hence uh, adaptability is important because nobody was predicting uh, that you know 2020 will be a year where a huge pandemic will hit everybody at the same time almost and uh, businesses will be distorted we will be will be going through months of you know not having or not generating revenues or generating minimal revenues and uh, in these times how can you uh, you know be a little bit more prepared and how can you adapt quickly so it's not just adaptability it's also adapting quick if you're going to take 2 years to adapt to a pandemic like this then the pandemic might be in its last leg by then and you missed the bus so adaptability is the second most important thing the third most important thing is uh, you know being lean in your approach so if you're quick uh in terms of uh, your product or service cycle and you know developing these things in a quicker fashion 
uh, those will help you uh, cut down on a lot of unnecessary frills and you know uh, i think it's a very famous uh, terminology that people in the ecosystem talk about uh, which is uh, failing fast so uh, that is something that that you can consider doing so that you don't burn a lot of money and uh, close doors to your future projects uh, you know we need to be extremely extremely important with our finances or the way we are spending our money uh, whether we receive funding or not or you know whether we bootstrap whatever condition the startup is in whatever situation we are in uh, if we are not going to be extremely cautious about it then you know we will uh, have less number of days uh, in terms of making sure that the startup survives and the third thing is to not look at uh, your startup as a money making machine or you know uh, something from a very financial point of view of course we all need to uh, generate revenues we all need to have the top lines bottom lines all that is great um but there needs to be a higher purpose also attached to a startup because a lot of times things are not going great and this is one of those times you know it's the best example that we are in so at this stage when your revenues are down are you looking at closing down your efforts are you looking at uh, shutting down your startup or do you have a higher purpose which goes beyond money so let money be a by product we don't really fully understand the meaning of uh, funding in the sense of why we need it when we need it how we need it you know in in financial terms there is something known as uh, roce which is the return on capital employed so you know it's not just about getting the capital it's about how you're going to use that capital so do you genuinely really terribly need something and on uh, need funding and you need that money to scale up these are important questions to ask yourself so focus more on uh, you know carving your product or service rather than just looking at one direction okay when will i get my funding when will i get my funding the other person has gotten already i have not gotten it yet so this comparison and all can take a back seat and if you focus fully on your product or service and if you are completely aligned with uh, you know your mentors uh, have an open chat with them i'm sure they're all pretty smart and intelligent people who have achieved a lot in their own careers and journey so there's a lot you can learn so if you do that i'm sure you know you'll be able to sail through and i personally have been a part of lab 32 in the past i think it's a great program you should for sure consider this but uh, be extremely dedicated and that is extremely important so that uh, you know you can get the best out of it so yeah that's my two cents